Hey y'all, my name is Rabia. I also go by Egypt and you are listening to Egypt's Introspect Podcast. Um, so for starters, I want to say thank you. Thank y'all for already supporting and your curiosity for clicking on this to listen to my voice. And um, secondly, I just want to mention vulnerability and how it helps me and how it can help y'all as well. So, being vulnerable by the Google definition, and I'm gonna read it out loud to y'all word from word. Being vulnerable by the Google definition means, and I quote, susceptible to physical or emotional attack or harm, or in need of special care support or protection because of age, disability, or risk of abuse or neglect. So, I know vulnerability more by the, I recognize vulnerability more by the second um, description, which is in need of special care, support, protection, like just being your most authentic self. Uh, so, What I believe is being vulnerable, it tends to have a huge misconception, especially in this generation. And I say this because like we all tend to look at it as if it's this bad thing. Like if we do open up to others, then we looked at as weak. And it's also associated with vulnerability. We associate weakness with vulnerability. Yes, I said it. And to most of y'all, like I just said, vulnerability, it equals weakness. But in my opinion, you don't have to agree with me. In all reality, being open and honest with feelings that we all have, it makes you stronger emotionally instead of bottling things up. So what you think bottling things up is going to, you place all this stuff inside a bottle until it's overfilled eventually what what do you think it's going to do it's going to break so that makes more sense that equals weakness more than letting all of that out you know so so i want y'all to take all of that that i just said and reflect in it when y'all can so we are going into the next thing which is talking about the title of my book my poetry book. Yes, I am a self-published author. Um, I self-published my book titled Egypt's Introspective um, in the year 2019 and 19 years old. And um, I wanted to say that the title of my book, Egypt's Introspective, it is inspiration to be the title for this podcast. Because, like, this whole podcast is about, like, sharing ones, sharing our thoughts and feelings and just going beyond the surface, digging deep inside yourself, which is, to me, the same idea that my poetry book has. And I also want to add that I plan to have a day out of the week, like, where I talk with anyone, and anyone can participate, don't be scared, where anyone can participate in what I call, like, vulnerable hour and vulnerable hour is where you could share like any experience in the world that you've been through with anyone or you could talk about yourself any experience that you've been through with yourself and like we could discuss it for others to relate to feel better about it or they can just listen and relax and maybe you know they could pass it on to or maybe they think hmm this sounds good I want to join in too so pass that on y'all Um, And that way I can receive more participants. So expect that to happen. And I will be posting this to my new page and my current pages. So be ready for that. And I'm so excited and we will be having a good time on here. So I will see y'all later.